Good afternoon, and Adrian. Thank you for asking us onto your stand. Um, Welcome. Thank Welcome you. To the just, stand. just a short track away from the arena where we've done most of the filming, um, and thank you for agreeing to to go through the features of your of, of your drill here. I understand is is quite new, yes. but I think from my perspective, knowledge of of, of the Bednar uh, company and it came with Swifter discs when I used to. Used to get involved with those. Many farms in Russia and Ukraine always had a really quite a um, an excellent reputation for simplicity, durability, well, good build strength. So, so, so Ben now is a family business based in Czech. Our factory is about an hour and a half outside Prague. Prague is our global headquarters. The Bednar family has been in farm machinery now in its second generation. Uh, uh, certainly, we're renowned for our Swifter disc, our compact disc arrow, and our Swifter. Um, we're also known as the drill masters. Um, we produce drills in varying widths from cultivation to uh, min till. Um, there are other drills currently in development, but we launched this Directo NO as a six meter form at Lama back in January. Um, this is a machine that's been doing some trial prots and some testing. Um, we are very keen to get it in front of customers who are looking for regenerative farming or, or, or direct drilling practices. And, and what we've tried to do is provide them with a product that's versatile, but also enables them, uh, so is it's not overly complicated. So um, our quarter uh, design, you'll notice, is quite familiar, but we've taken something that's known in the industry and enhanced it. So there's some, we've got 250 kilos of quarter pressure per disc, and we can also angle and add pressure to the closing wheel that's on the rear. And it's a steel closing wheel, so irrelevant of the soil conditions or the inclement weather that we've got used to in the last nine months, uh, we can close the slot a lot better than, than most of the machines that we're coming up against. And it, v versatility is key. Uh, we're also looking for output and capacity. So we're 5,000 litres of split hopper. Uh, this is grain and fertiliser, obviously, but this particular machine has also added our Alpha 400 which is for a microgranular starter fertilizer. All of that in this format is going as a single shot into the sowing quarter, but we would very often sell the machine with a disc opener, which would be in here purely to put the fertilizer in deeper and to the side of the seed. Seed spacing is 16.7 centimeters. And I think, I think with regard to it being a a very low disturbance, have the capability to be very low soil disturbance, which is good for blackgrass, good for yeah. those sort of things over here. But out of necessity, sometimes then, particularly soils in their early stages of moving down this system, probably we're not mineralizing very much, so no. having that starter fertilizer can be quite useful. Yes, and the other thing that we're finding, we've talked about both at Lama and here at Cereals, is people who are looking to put in a companion crop so we can easily swap the machine so as the front row of quarters can put in one seed type, second row of quarters in alternate spacings can put in a, 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 a companion crop to grow alongside the main, ad adding yet another versatile format to, to, to our product. Simple machine but lots of options yes. with, without an awful lot of complexity to it. Yes. Um, Agricultural machinery, as you alluded to when we started mentioning Swifter and Swifter Disc, uh, build quality, uh, life cost, so we want to build it strong and we want to build it reliable over a long period of time. Um, we're just now investing in a, in a new paint facility in our factory, and the factory is a new factory anyway, just to make sure that we give that customer another benefit, so the, the ability to, to uh, run the machine for a longer period reliably and keep its aesthetical appearance. Good, good. So, yep, from the point of view of the metering and so, the, the control system? Yeah, so we are running plastic hoppers purely and simply because it allows the seed to flow down to the metering unit. The metering unit is, is also got a driven agitator and every drill we produce has a sealed hopper because that pressurised hopper gives a constant feed down into the, the metering unit and the, uh, as accurate a spacing along the seed row as we can possibly uh, provide. Are these your own metering units yes. as well? Yeah, uh, metering units are own, the software is also our own and we're running on uh, full ISOBUS connectivity. So with this drill on ISOBUS we can manage all three hoppers 
from the single terminal. We don't need any more terminals in the, in the uh, tractor cab. Uh, and due to the fact that we're trying to make the, uh, the operator's life as, as uh, stress-free as possible, we even put the uh, calibration um, location in a place that is easily accessible, not only for the calibration, so we don't have to, to go underneath the hopper at all unless we're changing the metering cassette. Everything else is from here and we can even unload if we have over calculated on the quantity that we filled the hopper we can unload. We can blow both all three hoppers out into a bag at this position. So gone are the days of dropping it on the floor and then having to get the brush and the shovel to pick it up off the workshop or the grain floor store. I think little features like that sort of speak to me that the company has actually done this already and, and found out that these little bits need doing it. It's, it that doesn't come from no, the, first the, principles really. Does this it? is the reason why we attend Lama, we attend Cereals, we want to interact with our customers, both today's customers as well as our future customers. And, and my colleagues here from the factory are here to listen and, and to understand what the next trends and what the customer requirements are. We have to listen because we need to provide the the, the resources and the, the product that improves the profitability of farming because... And, and to suit our conditions here as well, that's yes. the key thing isn't it? So range of widths, I guess this is one of a number? So at the moment for uh, this autumn we are a six metre, other widths will be coming on stream later this autumn as demonstration units for 2025 delivery. So we'll be going full, full range of working widths, but we want to run with the six metre in the UK to start with, so we can get an understanding and, and manage the, the growth of the product offering. I see you've got hydraulic axle and drawbar on here, yes. is that right? So that's, that's maintaining... Yes, that so, so going back to life cost, rather than lifting the quarters up and down at the end of each pass, we can uh, use the rear axle and the tractor linkage or the alternative we can have a hydraulic ram in here so rather than lifting the hydraulic linkage at the end of each row one button activation on the ISA bus the front hydraulic ram and the rear axle move and lift all of the coulters up without each coulter lifting and, and the wear on all of the bushing etc. So uh, again we're thinking life cost and uh, which means um, profitability for the customer and, and less downtime more reliable yeah. everything else yeah. e even down to the simplicity of calibration we're thinking of the amount of work that can be done in a day effectively and accurately yeah. and again that hitting that window of opportunity when you're doing less tillage is really important because yes. you haven't quite got that latitude yes. you can get if you're going to do a lot more tillage just talking about tillage then having Having your experience so far, I guess it would be quite capable to nail crops straight in as direct into stubble and whatever. Most definitely. If a farmer wanted to do a, a degree of tillage, let's say raking or, or surface or residue management, yes. surface soil movement, incorporating fertilizer, yes. FYM and stuff like that, then how good is it at, how capable is it of coping with till, till conditions? Yes. Um, if you're running it behind, for instance, our straw rake and just getting that little bit of movement uh, to, to give a, a, a mechanical kill of any volunteers or any black grass uh, or a little bit more soil movement with our Swifter disc, the machine is designed and has, has been tested to make sure that it will be as versatile and, and to cover as many of the variances that we, we find in, in farming, both in UK and in the rest of Europe. Would you say that I mean, most disc drills prefer a firmer surface, so some tillage, if it was a little bit deeper, might want, to, might want a firming action, a pressing action, just to, just to drive the stuff through a little bit more? Yes, but again, down to soil type and climate, we, we, we would always suggest that the machine comes with the front wheel purely to keep it stable. Um, but we can, we've got enough adjustment uh, uh, with the coulter and with the fertiliser discs to allow us to cope with virtually all of those. After the plough, no, because we've moved too much soil, but with compact disc arrows or straw rake, perfect scenario. The, 
the typical type of kit that you would use to complement something like this in that type of system? Exactly. In the regenerative and farming, it's, it's, it, it's the, the way we're having to, to, to manage that sustainability. Yeah. Okay, well, many thanks for outlining the key features. Uh, hopefully coming to a farm near you soon so we can show you it in action. And, uh, Excellent. Yes, thank you Excellent. for your time. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Cheers. Thanks.